Hello everyone, Big Game Hour back again with another CX and Charity Shop Hunt video. And yes, it's a lovely sunny day today. I haven't even got a jacket on. We are in Bracknell. So yeah, we're gonna go check out this place. I don't think they've got many charity shops here, but they do have a CEX and a game. And uh, we'll have a look what else is here, but I think pretty much everything is inside a shopping centre. So we're parked in a multi-storey. And we're gonna go check it out, right. Let's get down there. Quite a nice clean shop, isn't this? Not much here. But they do have a game inside Sports Direct of all places. Let's go check it out. Decent sized shopping centre, we're all the way over here. Uh, got to find CEX, which is somewhere. Who knows where? Uh, sports Homeware 104. 104 is ah, oh, just around this corner. Lovely. Let's go. And here we are, we found CEX. All right, let's have a look in the window. There's no retro by looks like. Unless you want to count Mario Kart. Oh, that statue looks alright. Yeah, let's go look inside. So we're outside the shopping centre, I found this lovely little statue dedicated to World Wars 1 and 2. This one's about World War 1 on this side. It's a lovely church. And yeah, we're going to have a walk down there, see if we can find some charity shops. But yeah, it's a lovely hot sunny day out today. Oh, very nice shopping centre, it keeps going. Nice little wooden roof on that. Yeah, I don't know if there'd be charity shops down that way. Or down there. Probably up there. And we ain't found any charity shops yet, but Kaz has found Mr. Sims, so you know what that means. She's in, she's in, she's off. Oh, a little stop off at the ball pub. I've just got a nice little Coke Zero, and Kaz has become an alcoholic. I've got a recorder leg. Recorder leg. Strawberry and lime. Yeah. Right, there's not many charity shops here. In fact, I think there's only one inside the shopping centre, maybe another one. I'm gonna go and look for it, but Kaz is gonna stay here and get drunk. So yeah, I'm going to finish my drink and then go look for some charity shops. And here's all the bars and restaurant area of this little area. It's got it's quite nice. But this is a raving on a Friday, Saturday night. We've got TGI Fridays, Nando's, Pizza Express, ZZ's, and then there's some others down there. Yeah, looks nice. Shaky, shaky. Yeah, looks quite nice around here. Got a little green bit of benches on it. Yeah. Right, let's go and find some charity shops. Right, I've got Bracknell Shop Mobility inside. We're going to do another one. We'll go check this one out first. Oh, a lot of 
DVDs. But, what's the video games? Nope. Oh well. Nothing. Got these flat figures. I've seen these before. They look pretty cool. And the last one around here we've got Thomas Hospice. Alright, let's go check these out. Oh, I've got some in here. Mm, nothing worth getting there. Let's get on the wheeler. No, sadly not. Right. As you can see, we're not in Bracknell anymore. Yes, I've never done a uh, goodbye sequence from Bracknell because I was planning on going to another charity shop. Now, I went on Google and they said there was a Deborah just around the corner. So I thought, you know what, let's go check it out. It said it was like a head office, but it looked, had a pit, it looked like a picture of a shop. I thought, oh yes, this is good. So I drove around, it was on an industrial estate. And I got around there. And it was just a head office. And I, I couldn't even film it to show you because double yellows everywhere. So I couldn't even stop. So sadly, yeah, just the two charity shops in Bracknell. Although really, really nice shopping centre. It must be really nice for the locals to have that there. Like I'll say that little street there, all the bars and restaurants on it was really nice. But yeah, I did manage to pick up two things from CEX. So what did I get? I got... An Xbox 360 game, yes, I have picked up Modern Warfare 2 because, as you can see, it's a lovely steelbook. Now, I think there's some codes here, let me turn there around. So, it has got the manual and everything in there, which is behind this little bit here that had a code on it. I don't know if the code has been re uh, redeemed or not, but yeah, I thought that was quite a nice little add on to the collection. I can take my copy out and move it on, and we've added another steelbook and the last one I've picked up is for the switch and it's Effie 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 however the hell you pronounce it Ga Galan Galan's edition whatever the hell that is as well so yeah as you can see it's a it's a nice little slip cover it's got a bit of damage on it but I'm not too worried about that so you get the game which is literally just a game. Now this looked like a nice little platforming style game. So I thought I'd get this. But you also get a little booklet. So you've got a, the art book. So you've got some nice pictures in there. Just to have a look through. Some black and white ones. Let's get one more for you. Another black and white one. So yeah, there's only a couple of colour pictures in here. <laughs> I mean, the middle page is the best one. Look at that. Lovely art style. So, yeah, that is all I've picked up from Bracknell. I'll try and get the game back in there now. <laughs> so, yeah. Little, nice little tan. Enjoyed the little visit there. But, yeah, not, not many charity shots. Did pick up a couple of games. And that's about it. But, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one. Do give it a good thumbs up. And, yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.